How's it going everybody? This is Krav Maga blog number two. So today we're going to be covering um, choke defenses. So push choke, back chokes, all that fun stuff. So this one's a front choke. Um, essentially what you're going to do, you're going to take your hands, make claws out of them, pluck at the meat of their thumb, um, it's where the weakest point of their hand is. Um, when you're doing this, you're going to be striking them in the groin above a kick, um, but all this is happening simultaneously as you can see here. Um, and then you just throw your normal combatives and take control. Remember, it's important to pluck, um, and um, yeah, because that's what stops the choke. This one's choked from the side. So again, you're plucking again, um, and you're actually using their arm to, um, you're not gonna let go of the arm. So as you can see, I'm never, I never let go of his arm. So first you make the hook, um, you pluck at the meter of your thumb again, and you keep it right in your chest. Um, you're gonna hold it there for as, lo for as long as you want, really. Um, because you're actually going to use that arm for your elbows. Um, you're basically using it as leverage. You're pulling as you're shifting your weight back and forth and striking, um, giving strikes like you see there. Basically three strikes, one to the chest, one to the throat, one to the face, that kind of thing. Um, and then again, um, you take control and you throw your combatives that we covered in the last blog. Um, same thing from the different side. Again, I'm shifting my weight. Everything's a strike. And um, again, just about being as violent as possible. Now this is choke from the back. Um, you're gonna do the same plucking motion um, again at the meat of the thumbs. And um, when you do that, you're gonna simultaneously be striking them in the groin, and then throw a series of elbows up the body, um, and then take control again at you know just like as you would you know just you just beat them up basically, right? Um, so again, make your 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 claws. You pluck, you strike the groin. Now when you strike the groin, you don't want to ball your fist up. You want to be, your hands to be open. It's just more surface area, right? Um, it's got to hurt regardless if it's a hand, fist or a hand, so just use your hand. Um, again, all that's a strike. Um, do your hammer fists and all that. Um, so one more time, pluck, strike the groin. Remember, oh, you're using the arm as like, you know, leverage. Um, for your strikes. You're always hanging on to that arm and you're rocking back and forth kind of like with the side choke. Um, so, oh, I have a lot of chokes in here. Um, this is the same thing from a different angle. Oh, and there's also a nice little hammer fist as you're going through and follow through the combatants. Uh, headlock, this is pretty common. Give me your milk money type, um, you know, um, attack. Um, essentially what you're going to do is your, your number one priority is to obviously um stop being choked right um this particular choke he's gonna be restricting blood flow from your from your brain right and so you're gonna want to release that as soon as possible so you throw your first hand up and basically you just pull your head out um so it's left hand right hand um or at least from that particular side right um so whatever hands closest to the body you throw that one up first and then the next one and then you're going to shift your body right um you know under his arm um, as you can see here, um, and then throw your combatives. Fairly simple to get out. Um, the, oh, this next one's push choke from the front. So as you can see, your move, there's some movement here. And again, your biggest threat from this is being pushed up against a wall, taken somewhere, wherever. And so while you're pushing you, you're gonna wanna take your few steps, you're gonna wanna lift your arm up, chop, and then elbow them in the face as the momentum's coming towards you. So arms up, you chop, and then you elbow. Um, so same thing here. You don't want to really, you don't want to stay still. I mean, you're going to naturally walk back. So don't think too hard about it. So walk back, shoot the arm up, chop, elbow to the face, and throw your combatives in. Um, again, you're using the momentum of him, um, to, um, hit him, right? Um, this is the same thing, essentially, um, except it's coming from behind. So push choke from the back. You're going to be taking a few steps forward. You're going to be lifting your arm up. I didn't do it that time, but I should be. Basically, you're lifting your arm straight up, um, you're chopping, and then you're throwing a punch. You're not doing any elbows because, generally speaking, they'll be a little further away for the for that one. Um, so you throw the arm up, you turn, you turn your body as you're taking a step, chop the elbow, and then punch the face. So yeah, that's about it. Everything's pretty straightforward, nothing too crazy or fancy. Um, there are different, tons of other chokes that you can cover, but these are the most common, basic ones. And uh, thanks for watching Promocop Blog number two, and I will see y'all in the next video. Alright, cheers.